What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a dumbbell hit workout. We're gonna perform today's routine Tabata style. That means we're gonna do four sets of every movement. That's 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. You'll want to have a few different dumbbells available to you so that you can challenge yourself throughout today's workout. You can follow me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for some modifications. If you're ready to go, let's hit it. All right, before we get started with our workout, we need to prepare our bodies for this work that is coming. We are going to start with a squat plus a T rotation. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna sit back, weight in our hips, come down to the bottom, I'll place my left hand on the ground and reach up with my right arm, back up. Opposite side now, squat down, right arm straight down, reach up with that opposite arm. Now it's all right if you can't quite reach the floor on this one, do the best that you can. Squatting down, trying to keep a good upright posture and then rotate. Great one for that thoracic spine and mid back mobility as well as your hips. This one's really working out multiple muscle groups here. I like to choose efficient moves and I warm up most bang for your buck. Breathe in, last one here, and end. Okay, next up we're gonna perform a hamstring sweep. Let's start by placing our right straight leg out on that heel. Gonna get a big sweeping motion with our arms, hinging at our hips, stretching that backside, and back up. Now alternate legs, left straight leg out. Big sweeping motion with our arms, alternating right and left legs. Hinging at our hips, we're driving those hips backwards. Oh, I'm feeling that big stretch in that hamstring in the back of my leg right now. <laughs> and for me, it's my, my calves. <laughs> oh. But it is hitting calves, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, shoulders. Again, we talk about that efficiency of movements for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, two more warm-up moves for us, and we're gonna perform them from the floor, getting down on all fours in a quadruped position. We're gonna perform a scapula push-up next. So I want you to take the middle of your back and bring it straight up, almost like there's a hook in the middle of the back, straight up, pulling away from the spine, and then reverse it, retracting, pinching those shoulder blades back together. Now again, that mid-back comes straight up, pulling away from the spine. It's a dynamic warm-up move. Make sure to breathe. Both ends of the movement here. And on, on that retraction, it's almost like you're pinching those shoulder blades together, like somebody has their finger in the middle of their back and trying to pinch that finger. Three, two, one, good. All right, similar move, but, but different. We're gonna move into a traditional cat-cow next. So getting started, let's go ahead and bring that mid back up. And we're gonna tuck our chin into our chest as we pull up and then reverse it, bringing your sternum to the floor. 
Bring those shoulders back, head up, and reverse it. So almost like working your upper back with the scapula. Yep, you and got then it. Your mid back, mid and lower with the cat cow. That's it. Working out, just loosening up that spine, but also getting a little shoulder and chest at the same time here. For three, two, one, and zero. All right. All right, that's it, right? Uh, yeah, so we'll <laughs> see you next time, folks. Uh, no, actually, that is just the beginning. I As kid. I mentioned in the intro, we are going to perform today's workout Tabata style. So for every exercise we do, we'll do four rounds. We'll do 20 seconds of hard work, uh, keeping that intensity up, and then 10 seconds of rest before we repeat that process. We'll guide you through it. We need one dumbbell for the first one. It's a reverse lunge plus a halo. Let's, we're gonna demonstrate it for you here before we get started. Grabbing that dumbbell on either side. I'm gonna step back with my right leg, dropping my right knee down, bring that dumbbell to my left side, up overhead, that's the halo, and then stand up. Now my left leg is gonna go back. Bringing that dumbbell up all the way over and standing up. So we mentioned 20 seconds on this one, getting started together and then 10 seconds of rest. Keeping that intensity up. One last big deep breath here. And three, two, one, hit it. Stepping back, right side. And then left side, bringing those arms all the way overhead. Moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with today for every move. Pushing yourself, not in competition with us, but just with yourself. And break. All right, so it's 10 seconds, and this rest period is gonna go by quick, so there's fair warning. Adjust your weight if you need to, and begin. This is a brain workout. It is. I have to think about, okay, which side did I just do? <laughs> a little. We'll call that extra credit, Ooh. a little mental workout. All right, not much left to go. In three, two, one, break. All right, very good. Oh. Making sure on this one that we're not bouncing that back knee up off the floor. That's right. And begin. Uh, as you said, a little mental workout here too. Which one did I finish off on? Oh <laughs> gosh, I wasn't even thinking about that. You got your core working, shoulders working, whole lower body all working together here, folks. Three, two, one, break. Oh, quick, quick time to catch your breath. Here we go, last one right here. You got it, you got it, you got it. And begin. Let's hit it, come on. Finishing strong on this one. Getting this workout started with a bang. Remembering to breathe. Short, intent bouts of exercise here in this Tabata workout. And three, two, one, break. Okay, Ooh. we need a second dumbbell for the next one. We're gonna work complementary muscle groups here. This one's gonna work our upper back. We're gonna do a dumbbell crush bent over row, feet or shoulder width apart, two dumbbells, Bending over on a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna crush, squeeze those dumbbells together, and then pull back and row home back from the elbows. Choose an appropriate weight for you as we get started. And three, two, one, hit it. Again, pull them back on those elbows and keep crushing, pushing them together throughout the whole move. Pull them back on those elbows like you have a string attached to them. Not from the hands, but the elbows. In three, two, one, and break. All right, one down, Ooh. three to go. Adjust your weight if you need to, make it harder or easier. All right, you guys ready to begin? Because we're starting now. That's it, good. And so yeah, there's a little trick to picking the right weight for all these exercises. You gotta make it through four sets. You want to be challenged, but you do want to make it to the end. It's a balance between the two. You want to use good form. Also true. And we are breaking. Whew. All right, halfway. Two down, two to go. I'm already perspiring or glowing. 
Just a little glow. Start your second one, third one, now. There this is go. the third one, right? This is the third one, you got yes. it. Halfway, pulling back, keep that core engaged on this one. Don't be loose, don't slouch over. When we get tired, it's even more important to focus on that form and our posture. And we are breaking. All right, three down, one to go here. Oh. Big deep breaths. Big deep breaths, because we're Heart starting right now. Okay, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What do you got? Last one. Finish this one strong, and then your back is going to get a little break. Pulling back from those elbows. We got eight seconds left. Come on. Right to the end, right to the end. Ooh and three, two, one, and break. Ah, all right, set those oh. weights down. And we're gonna move to the floor for Claudia's favorite exercise of the day. You that's, already know what it is. It's a side to side push up. Actually, it's any push up variation. <laughs> Today, it's a side to side push up. I'm gonna do mine from my feet. I'm gonna do mine from my knees. I want you to see it started with your hands in line with your chest. So it's a bit of a narrow setup. I'm gonna step out with my right hand, drop down, push up, come back up. Now my left hand steps out and come back up. You decide which variation is appropriate for you. It's a little more challenging than a normal push-up. If the floor is still too hard for you, feel free to get it inclined. Do it on right. a bench, a countertop, couch. A wall. Whatever you have. Here we go. In three, two, one, begin. Again, pushing yourself here. You may be able to go faster than us with good form or at half the speed. That doesn't matter. What matters is you push yourself Every day you show up, you get a little bit better every workout. And break. That's it. You got it. Shake them out here. You're not in competition with us. Nope. Do what you can. Go at your speed. Make sure you maintain that good form. And begin. Breathe in on the way down. Exhale as you press up. That's right. That's the hardest part of this movement. This is working your chest, shoulders triceps, even your core just to maintain that flat back. Not much left. Two, one, break. All right. Oh my gosh. Two down, two to go. Oh. Yes, <laughs> this is tough for us too. Ooh. You're not alone, we're in it together. That's right, and we're starting the third round now. Let's go. Yep, those quick breaks. Why does the break always feel so short? Because it is. Ah, okay, well that makes perfect sense. Again, get that breathing right. Starting to slow down, that's okay. Pushing yourself, because nobody else can do it for you. And break. Ha ah, ha, okay, that's it, three down. 10 second break. Right here, last one. more to one. go. Right here, right now, come on. Last one, you got it. And begin. Here we go, last 20 seconds of this one, and then no more. Actually, I'll go as far as to let you know on a spoiler alert, no more push-ups in today's workout. This is it. Oh gosh, thank you. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> empty it out, empty it out. You Come got on. it. Woo, three, two, one, break. Ah, you made it. All right, on our feet, we're gonna give our upper body a break. Let's work on those legs. We need one dumbbell for a dumbbell side lunge. Yeah, actually, honestly, and depending on where your strength is, if you need to, you can skip the dumbbell altogether. I'm starting with a dumbbell in my right hand. I'm gonna step to my left side. Big step, good posture, back up. We're gonna go all to the left side in the first set, and then we'll alternate sides. That's right. In three, two, one, hit it. Big step, good posture. Popping right back up, depending on your flexibility on this one. Your steps may be larger or smaller than ours. Same thing with your depth. You, you might just be here and come right back up, and that's totally fine. Again, we want everybody to practice good form and break. All right, so we're switching hands now, and we're gonna step to the right side. So dumbbells in left hand, step into the right side. Let's start right now. Let's hit it, big step. Good. Keep that knee out on that traveling leg, sitting back, waiting our hips, not bending over too far forward. Breathe in on the way down, exhale. And as you come up. break. 
Okay, Ooh. switching hands, that's halfway done. Whew, two down, two to go. Dumbbell back in that right hand. Starting now. Let's hit it. Sitting back, there it is every time. Get that good posture. And then of course, technically it's working both legs on each repetition, right? Regardless of the direction, just hitting different muscle groups in each leg. Not much left, three, two, one, and break. Ah, very good. Ooh. So important to include lateral movements in our routines. Ooh. And Lest. three, two, <laughs> one, let's, let's go. go. Come on now, last one right here. Looking strong. Push through, come on. Sitting back every time. Feeling that stretch as you come down. Breathing in and breathing out. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, we're gonna let those legs take a rest. We need two dumbbells. We're gonna perform a reverse curl. <sighs> All upper body here. Elbows are in close to our body. Palms are facing down. Tight, locked in wrists. Curling all the way up, all the way down. Not much to it. Giving those biceps a good workout. In three, two, hit it. Come on now. Elbows stay in. Don't let them flare out. Yes, we want to keep an intense pace, but we want to control the way up and the way down. That's right. So don't just relax your arms as the dumbbells are coming down. Not much left here. Three, two, one, break. Ah, very good. Again. You need to adjust your weight. Now's the time to do it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You got it. Higher or lower. Make sure to challenge yourself. Start now. This one is not only working your biceps, but your forearms and your grip strength as well. Very functional move here. Also makes your arms look nice, so that's nice. We like that. I love that. Good posture. Shoulders are back. And break. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Halfway down. Two down, two to go. Start third round now. It's kind of nice doing this Tabata style because whatever muscle group was screaming at you a minute ago <laughs> just told the pipe down as the new muscle group starts to scream at you. Woo! Like I almost forgot my legs were hurting. Now my arms are hurting. Right, that's what I mean. We're all about my legs. Not much left. Three seconds. Three, two, one, break. All right, we're starting to feel swollen now. Feeling good. Here we go, folks. Come never, on. Never question those light weights because these five pounders are feeling real heavy. And go. Well, when you're doing this many repetitions in a short period of time, it adds up quickly. Yes, it does. Thinking about what you're working on, folks. What is it? 10 seconds left. What's that goal? Staying mentally tough right here. Come on. You got it. You got it. Three, two, one, and break. All right, time for those arms to take a break. Dumbbells are down. To the floor we go. We're going to work on our core. You're going to love this one. Moving on our backside, lying down flat on our backs. Now I'm going to perform a full V-sit sprinter. My right knee is going to come up. My left arm is going to come up, sitting all the way up and alternating sides. I'm doing the same thing, but I am performing a low crunch. So bringing just my shoulder blades up off the ground. You decide what's right for you, but either way, it's showtime. In three, two, one, hit it. Again, another little mental workout is opposite arm and leg. Need to work together on this one. Get those shoulder blades up off the ground. Not much left. And break. All right, one, one down. Three more to go. Three more to go. Five Can't seconds. forget about that core. Here we go. And begin. Boom. Every repetition is getting just that much closer to your goals, folks. Come on. Think about it like a big staircase. Every workout you show up, you take one step up that staircase. And, and break. Woo. Oh yeah, this is effective. <laughs> We're feeling it. You can usually tell when I start to speak less. And, and let's begin. If you ever wanna know how bad I'm hurting, generally, the less I speak, 
the more I'm feeling it. It's a good rule of thumb. Breathe as you bring your knee up and your hand up. Exhale. Inhale on your way down. Not much left. Three, two, one. Break. Ah, oh my gosh. It's working, you folks. Guys, there's one more to go. It's working. Come there's on. One more to go. Don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. Here we go. And begin. Come on. This is it right here. Right to the end. Knock this one out. And there's no more of these. That's right. Keep your eye on the prize. Come on. That finish line is right there. I see it. I see it. Come on. Five seconds. Come on. Two, one, and break. Ha, ah, burn so good. All right, time to get off the ground, Claudia. You two out there, tribe. We need two dumbbells for the next one. We're gonna work on our lower body. I'm gonna perform a dumbbell squat jump with an ISO hold. And I'm gonna do the low impact variation of that, and I'll show you what that looks like. So dumbbells are at my side. Weight goes back in my hips all the way down. I'm gonna jump catch myself and hold one 1,000. So you notice he jumped. I'm gonna do the low impact variation where I'm just coming up onto the balls of my feet, holding, and then starting at reset. All right, 20 seconds. Here we go. Burn out that lower body and hit it. So every time you get into that quarter squat position for a good one 1,000 hold. There it is. It's really gonna blast out those quadriceps, that big thigh muscle in front. Like we're catching and absorbing our weight with that hold. And we are breaking. Whew, all right, one down. Three more to go. Three to go. I got some sweat tickling my nose here. Hold it <laughs> and, and begin. Get a full range of motion on that squat. Going down until those thighs are parallel to the floor. Again, you move as fast or as slow as you need to on this one. Not much left. And break. Very Ooh. good. Two down. Two to go. Halfway mark. Big deep breaths. Here we go. Here we go. And begin. I want you to breathe in on the way down. That's an inhale. And then exhale as you explode up. As you get tired, it gets hard to do that one 1,000 pause. I, know, I don't want to slack on that either. Not much left. And break. That's it. Three Ooh. down. Last one right Shake here. Shake those legs out. Shake them out. Shake them out. You got it. Come on. And begin. Last one. We're right there with you, tribe. Feeling that same burn. Thousands, if not millions of us at home in the tribe feeling that burn with you. You're not alone. We're in it together. 10 seconds. All working towards our goals together. There it is. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. And three, two, one, and break. All right. We can set these weights down. Our legs are going to rest. They're going to work on our back. We need to move to the floor. It's called a prone position, lying flat down on our front with our arms out in front of us. And we're gonna, as we come up and bring our upper body off the floor, we're gonna pull back on our elbows and extend back down. So up, squeeze the back, back down. Doesn't look like much, but it'll work that back. And three, two, one, and begin. Everybody wants that sleek back. This is one step towards that. I want you to keep your glutes tight on this one. It'll help take that pressure off your lower back. So we want to really work that upper back on this one. Shoulder blades come off. And break. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely thing about this workout is, or this exercise, is you get to just lay here. Yeah, 10 seconds of lying here. <laughs> here and we go. And begin. And that break is over. Every time, pull back from the elbows. As you bring your upper body off the floor and squeeze and contract. 10 more seconds. Let's go, come on. And three, two, one, and break. Ah, all right. Halfway on this one. This is definitely a sneaky exercise. Sneaky, sneaky. Doesn't look like much, but. And start. But I'm feeling it. Come on. Every time. Bring that upper body off. 
and then bring it back down. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Exhale as you come up and inhale as you go down. Not much left, three, two, one, break. <sighs> here we go, here we go. Is this the last one? Three down, one to go. All right. Last one, last one. Look at that. We got it, it's Still going before by. Before you know it, let's begin now. Okay, come on, finish come strong on. on this one. 20 seconds. Total body workout today. Hitting everything from head to toe. No muscles left behind. Keep that breathing going. Five seconds. Glutes tight. Three, two, one, and break. All right. Good news is we can stay down here on the floor for the next one. Oh yeah. Bad news is it's not necessarily any easier. Nope. All right, we're gonna get into a side plank position. So I'm starting on my left side on that left forearm. We're gonna perform a side plank plus leg raise. I'm gonna come up onto my foot. Look at me, I am up on my knee here. And now we're gonna bring a leg raise, straight right leg up. So 20 seconds on this side, flip over, 20, two, so we get two on each side. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. You want a nice straight line Woo. from your head, shoulder all the way down the line. Working your glutes, abs, all at the same time on this one. Exhale as you drive that leg up. And break. Okay, so we're gonna flip over, same move, just hitting opposite legs here. Don't get too comfortable, because we're starting now. Ah, comfortable? No, I wouldn't think of it. Also working your obliques here, that side ab muscle, as well as your glutes to help you stay up in this position. Both glutes are getting hit. Oh my goodness. Three, two, one, and break. Ooh. All right, all right, all right, halfway done. It's working, <laughs> it's working. Uh, hey, we didn't say it had to be pretty, folks. You just gotta get it done. Okay, and begin. Oh, goodness. Here you we think go. that bottom leg is getting a rest, but. Oh, not on this one. This one, my bottom one is burning. Ooh. I'm on the struggle bus on this one. Struggle. Oh my gosh. And three, two, one, and ah. break. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, I'm so thankful to only have one more of these. <laughs> Where's that CGI in those? Oh that movie magic I always hear about. And begin. This would be a great time to it's not add that. It would be a great time. Oh my gosh. Come on. You're going to slow down. You can feel it. We're hurting. Just like you are. Finish with us. Come on. 10 seconds. Almost there. Almost there. Ooh, ooh. And five, four, three, two, one, uh, and ah, break. Ah, you did it. Back up on our feet we go. And we need one dumbbell for this one. It's a dumbbell slam. Doesn't oh. need to be that heavy. No. <laughs> we're gonna basically pretend like this is a medicine ball, but we're gonna hang on to it and never actually throw it. Feet are shoulder width apart, grabbing on that dumbbell on both sides. Bring it up overhead. We're gonna squat down, weight in our hips. Big power and energy. Straight down to the floor and repeat again. Get a good grip Yes. on that dumbbell. Don't let that fly. All right, and three, two, one, begin. And this is a good candidate to just totally drop the weight if you need to and just use body weight. You'll still get a great workout. Making sure to sit back and squat. Don't just bend over at the hips like this, but actually sit down. And three, two, one, break. Ah, nice. This is the definition of a total body exercise right oh here. Oh my goodness. Ooh. And begin. Working everything from your calves, hamstrings, quadriceps, glutes, lower back, upper back, shoulders, chest, all at the same time. Core, can't forget about that core. Not much left, come on, five seconds. And zero, all right. That's two down, two to go. These Ooh. are going fast. Big deep breaths. And hit it, you got it. Two down, two to go. Is that part of the workout where it's getting tough and you wanna hit that pause button 
But remember what brought you here today. What is it? What goal are you working towards? Focusing on that why right here, right now. In three, two, one, and break. Ah. Oh my gosh. One last one. You got it. Shake those arms and shoulders out, legs out. And begin. Last one. Come on, finish strong on this one. Not much left. Right to the end. Take out a little bit of aggression with this one, a little bit of stress. Big power, come on. Focusing on that mental toughness. Come on. You got it, you got it. Three, two, one, break. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna work about the only muscle that didn't get worked on that one next. I don't know. Two dumbbells. <laughs> I don't know. Claudia's about not so sure. Two dumbbells needed here. We're gonna do a dumbbell triceps kickback. One dumbbell in each hand. Feet are shoulder width apart. Palms are forward. Bring that upper arm up and lock it in. Not only bending from the elbow, extend and squeeze the back of your arm for that isolation tricep exercise. A few big deep breaths. Heart rate comes down. We're doing it in three, two, one. You got it. Focus on squeezing that tricep, which is that big muscle in the back of your arm. It's not a race. You don't have to go as fast as we are. Find a weight that's appropriate for you. That's right. I mean going heavier or lighter here. Break. Um, you got it, okay. One down, three to go, as we said. Now's the time to quickly adjust that weight. If the if weights you need didn't, to. They didn't feel that bad now. Just wait a minute. <laughs> Might kick in and begin. Keep that upper arm locked into place. So you're only hinging at the elbow on this one. That means you don't get a full arm swing like that. But instead, just hinging Five the seconds. elbow joint. Two, one, zero. Okay, that's it. Two down, two to go. You got it, high speed try. We're so close right here. So close. Come on, you made it this far. We're gonna fight to the end. And begin. You got it, you got it. Keep breathing. Keep that core tight and engaged. Don't let it be loose. Don't let your shoulders round. Keep that form going. You got it. Come oh on. Oh my gosh. Not much left. Come on. Three, two, one, break. Ah, that's it. You made it through three. Only one more. Come on, how <laughs> tough are you right here? Proving it to yourself, Claudia. All right, let's go. Come on. Proving it to yourself, tribe. Right to the end. We don't stop when it hurts. We stop when we're done. That's just the type of people we are. That's a mindset we want to instill in ourselves is that we don't stop until the job is done. Three, two, one, and break. Ah. All right, triceps are on fire. <laughs> we got a, one more for you here. We're gonna do a dumbbell clean, plus front squat, plus press. It is gonna empty our tank. That's right. Not just you at home, our tanks as well. He left the easy one for last. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Two dumbbells here. We're gonna do it with you though. Two dumbbells, hands are shoulder width apart. Let's go through it. So we're gonna swing those dumbbells back behind us, bring them up into a rack position. Now we're gonna front squat down and then press straight up. That's one. Swing, up, front squat, press. Whew. Choose your weight accordingly. <laughs> here we go. Big deep breath, one more here, right here. Three, two, one. Hinge of the hip, swing, rack, front squat, press. Get into a little flow on this one. It's almost like a little dance. This one's working everything from your shoulders, back, biceps, core whole lower body another total body move for you here and break ah. oh, look at you extra credit well i wanted to finish that <laughs> felt bad as to stop it in the middle one and down two one begin come on one down three to go here come on where's that mental strength at prove to yourself how mentally tough you are right now it stopped being about the physical a long time ago right now it's all about that mental strength you can finish this, you can finish anything. 
Remind yourself of that. Break. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, you got it. 10 seconds. Big deep breath. Stay in the zone. Here we go, here we go. Stay in the zone. And begin. So many good metaphors for life here. So many reasons to quit. So many reasons to stop. But you're stronger than that. It's all about that mental toughness. Your body says stop. But your brain and heart say keep going. Come on, right here. Break. Uh, I'm gonna kick it up a notch, this last one. Here we go. This is the last one right last here. Last one. Last one Empty right here. Empty it out. Come on. And begin. One into the next, so close right here. You versus you right now. You versus that you from yesterday that couldn't do it. But today you're gonna get it done. Getting better every day, right here. Three, two, one, and break. Ah, you made it. Yes. Ooh. Oh, don't splash me. <laughs> I'm drenched, I'm like sweating like a pig over here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Married life. <laughs> All right, so next up, we're gonna do a cool down. We're gonna do a downward Dude. dog next. Glad I got that on camera. And we're gonna really stretch out that backside. <laughs> Moving to the floor, our feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna break at our hips, put our hands on the ground, and we're gonna walk out. Now let's bring those hips back like somebody's pulling back on your hips. Relax at your shoulders, relax at your hips. Feel that stretch from your calves, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, shoulders. They all got a lot of work in today. Just breathe here. You can kind of walk it out if you'd like. Gives you a little extra calf action. Very good. For five, four, three, two, one. Ah, excellent. This cool down is helping our heart rate to come down slowly, as well as getting us some extra mobility work. Moving to our sides next. We're gonna do a side lying. So I'm on my side, I'm lying. Quadricep stretch. <laughs> now I'm gonna bring my right leg back and grab your foot, your ankle. If you need to, you can grab a band or a towel if you can't quite do it with just your hand. And we're just gonna hold here. It's a static stretch. You notice we usually begin with the dynamic stretches in the warm up, and we end with the static stretches here. That's by design. Big deep breaths. For three, two, one, relax. Same move, opposite side now. So just go ahead and flip on over to the other side. Oh my goodness, you know it's a good workout when I'm sweating. Well, you should see the puddle I have over oh, here. Oh, I saw it. Looks like there's a leak in the ceiling somewhere. I saw it. You felt it. <laughs> All right, keeping that knee tucked in the best that you can. Again, just a static hold, stretching that quadricep. So it's those four muscles together that make the quadricep to put together that thigh in the front. That big sexy leg muscle in the front. Yeah, that's it. Stretch it out. Deep breaths here. For five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty. Okay, moving into our backside. We're going to do a lying angel next, working on our shoulders and our chest. So first thing I want you to do is take your lower back and glue it to the floor so you don't have like this arch, but instead that lower back is flat, making contact with the ground. Now keeping that back there, bring your arms overhead, and ideally, while keeping your head flat, you have your hands and your whole arm flat on the ground, but depending on your mobility, you might not be there yet. And now slowly drag your arms on the floor, pulling from the elbows all the way down, Ooh. and then extend back up. And again, maybe you only have your fingertips on the, on the floor or maybe nothing's touching the floor, but you're fully trying the whole time. That's what's important to get those arms on the ground. So you're just taking, taking to the extent of their range of motion, whatever that looks like for you. And it may get a little better as you move through the workout. Yeah. And actually we did this one in the warm ups today and it felt pretty good for me, but now after that workout, it's feeling pretty rough. Yeah, now it feels not so great. Yeah. That was a tough workout today, a lot of shoulder action, a lot of back action. It's a great one for your overall shoulder mobility, 
as well as your posture, Absolutely. rotator cuff health. Great one to do daily. It really is. Combat that sedentary left lifestyle of all that seat, sitting down we often do. Staring at our phones or computers or TVs. For three, two, one, and zero. That, oh man, that one felt good. That is it. Let's see if I know how to stand up. You nope. don't have to stand up. No, you can chill down there, take a nap. Ah, thank you so much for working out with us and Ooh, pushing through to the very end. Too fast. Make sure to get up slowly. <laughs> and did you know you can get even faster results by following one of our complete workout programs? Those workout programs can be found on the HasFit app and our website, hasfit.com. Make sure you stop by our store. You can support us by picking up some HasFit gear or our diet guide to eating for life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Thank you so much for joining us today. We literally couldn't do this without you. Nope. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.